What is going on everyone? This is Sun Brother 2. Welcome you guys back to another exciting episode of TLTPG's Pokemon Black Randomizer Nuzlocke Episode 7. I am beyond ready for this episode, you guys, because I did a little off-screen grinding. Well, not a little, a lot of off-screen grinding because it turns out that with today's episode, we are taking on the second gym and I found out that the gym leader's aces are level 18 and 20. So because of that, I trained everyone up to level 18 as you will see soon in our team recap but a lot of things have changed if you don't know what happened please make sure you go and watch Wednesday's episode I almost forgot what day it was because ah oh, so many awesome things happened so many incredibly awesome things that you do see on the layout but before you know what let's let's just get into it let us get into it and do a team recap you guys cannot see the team unfortunately because it is on the bottom screen but I am going to be providing you guys with everything going on right now was a weird little glitch with the ROM, but also, if you haven't noticed, I'm not wearing my glasses, so no glare coming onto you on the webcam. So that's nice, except for the light over there, but that's besides the point. First off, we have Guacamole, our level 18 Lombre, who is a docile nature, and she has been putting in work, guys. I love the fact that we have this amazing Mon, and just in a couple levels as well, once we get Bubble Beam on her, we will evolve it, because we did find that water stone in the last episode as well. Make sure you go watch it, for sure, because you you have to see me freak out about that. But she does have Fury Swipes, Absorb, Nature Power, and Fake Out. She learned Fury Swipes off screen, and I couldn't be happier because it's, it's a decent move to use. Next up, we do have our remaining... <laughs> Our, one of our remaining three from the beginning of this Let's Play, Edison the Zedstreka, who is level 19. She un she leveled up once because I had to do a little bit of uh, switch training, so she did level up to 19, which isn't much to worry about. But she does carry Quick Attack, Shockwave, Flame Charge, and Thunder Waves, and she is holding an Ormberry. I don't know why, probably still from uh, when uh, Sharon's Regigigas kicked the crap out of us. But you know what? It'll be good to have it on her. Next up... As you guys see on the screen in the layout, Shimmy has evolved. I got her to level 18, and lo and behold, she freaking evolved. I couldn't believe it. I, I've never used a Lady before. I've never used a Lady Bu before, and it was a pain in the ass to um, train up. I am not going to lie. In fact, now that I'm looking at her nature, what is her nature? A rash nature. It's bad for her special defense. Even though that is her highest stat that you can see, but she also has a pretty decent special attack, which is a beneficial nature to her. So it's it's a pros and cons, but I cannot believe she evolved. She has tackle, reflect, mock punch, and light screen. So her move set is com almost completely different from the last episode, which I cannot wait to. S I honestly have not used her since she evolved. I got her to level 18, and that was it. And I want to use her today. I can't wait to use. Her. Next we have Peggy Arhuut who unfortunately has not evolved yet. I think it's coming close. I think it's like 2025 or so that she might evolve into Noctowl, but you know what? I, I can't remember exactly, but that's okay. That's okay. She does have Tackle, Peck, Uproar, and Hypnosis, so hopefully, you know, we can use her today in, uh, with the gym battle and just have fun with it and have a lot of fun. And finally, if you do not see it on the screen, please welcome Yahoo! Our Dragonite, level 25, who we got from the old Amber Revived, who knows Twister, Dragon Rage, Slam, and Agility. I will let you guys know right now, until we get everyone else around the same level as Yahoo, I won't be using him in today's gym battle. I will only use him if it's a desperate measure and I need something to take a hit to prevent something from dying. That's, that's the only time I'm using it. It is like my failsafe. He is my failsafe, unless there's an ice type on the field. Other than that, I, I'm not going to use him, unfortunately. So, But maybe next episode we will. I don't know, but oh my gosh, I can't wait for this episode. I'm, I don't know what's going on with me. Like, whenever my glasses come off and I'm just... I don't know. And all the grinding is help, just growing with the Pokemon. It's just so much fun. Oh wait, who do I have up front? Do I have Lydian up front? I don't know. I can't remember. No, I have Guacamole. I hang around Nacarine Gym all the time. People call me a bookworm. I'll warn you now, I am strong because I spend the entire day either reading books or training Pokemon. Alright, let's go! Let's get into this gym and figure out what's going on. I always hated slash like this gym, if I'm quite honest with you guys. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Sends out Omakuhita! Not bad at all. Level 17. You see level 17? 
That's crazy, because the gym leader's Pokemon starts at 18. And this Makuhita Sprite kind of bugs me. It weirds me out really quick. But so let's go ahead and fake out. Get our decent chip damage. And Nature Power in Buildings, I believe, does become Stry Attack. So hopefully it's not Guts boosted uh, um, Makuhita. If we could get a Freeze, that'd be awesome. Nope, Arm Thrust. Okay, we can eat that up. We can eat that up. Oh, look at that, guacamole! Get some chips! Okay, let's go ahead and nature power it again, and we should knock it out. Knock it out, knock it, knock it off. Alright, there we go. So, Schoolboy Kate's taken care of. Let's continue on. Let's see what he says. My first recommendation is a book called Nice to Meet You Pokemon. The bookshelves for children's books are close to the entrance. Let's go here. Children's books, Nice to Meet You Pokemon. Alright, awesome, we got it right off the bat. It's a fairy tale about a little boy who met a Pokemon for the first time in his life. He is with a small brown Pokemon. There is a memo between the pages. Pokemon trainers, I am the gym leader Lenora. I hid four memos in this library. Each of them has a question. Can you solve the questions and come find me? Now this is the first question. What is the Pokemon the first Pokemon you met in this gym? The hint is on a bookshelf in the middle row. Now try and find it. Well, that's kinda hard because we uh freaking randomize it. So is it here? Pokemon, the biology of Patrat. That sounds like a brown Pokemon. They communicate with each other by movement of their tails. Patrat raises its tail when it sees an enemy. There we go. We got it. As I thought, the question was easy. Well, this is the second question. Flame burns inside its body and it gives us smoke from its head while it runs. What is this book? Somebody may be reading it. Hmm, I see. Did you find the memo and come here to look for the book? What does the memo say? Flame burns inside its body and gives off smoke while its head. Okay. I, it's, I'm reading a, a book uh, called The Structure of a Locomotive. That sounds like the correct answer. But before that, it would be great to, for my research if we had a Pokemon battle. Alright, let's go and use gu Guacamole. I should have switched into Shimmy. I should have switched into Shimmy. Mm, well... I hate Flaffy sometimes when I have to face one. We should be good, because I am a Grass type. Let's go ahead and get our fake out. Just don't an X defend. Are you kidding me? We can deal with this. We can deal with this. And we get the static. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Thundershock. How much is this going to do to me? Does a little bit, actually. Try attack. Can we freeze it? Can we burn it? Can we freeze it? That would be nice. We froze it! Yes! Woohoo! Oh gosh, I gotta calm down. What's going on with me? Like, my mood, like, jumps so back and forth with this series. It's incredible. I cannot believe just how much emotion is in this series already. Just from the beginning with our starter choice to now. And even a couple episodes ago, you saw, you guys saw me just so low with that, with that battle with Sharon. I mean, <coughs> it's just crazy to see how far one episode can really take it. Okay, Guacamole is now level 19. I'll go ahead and switch her around. Water Sport. Weakens fire type moves? Yeah, uh, we don't need that. Okay, we defeated Rich Kid Robin. Return a book to a shelf after reading. Th er, this is a rule when you read a book. In a library, that is. General Studies, Structure of the Locomotive. This is a book about locomotive. Flame burns inside its body and it gives off smoke from its head while it... Oh! Excuse me, it just ate. It runs by using steam power. There is a memo in the, on the back cover. It's impressive you found this place. That's what I'd expect from a challenger like you. Well, this is the third question. If you heat it up in a pot, it'll be delicious. What is this? The, it's on a, a book closer than here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead... And I'm going to switch into Shimmy Arledian, who I'm hoping to rename sooner than later. Uh, I think you are here. Uh, what is that about Tepeg? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is it you? Is it this book? Oop, come on. Children's book. Sweets for Pokemon. Berries in a pot. Yeah, there we go. There's a memo on the cover. Did you manage to get here without being tricked by the questions? Now this is the last question. From this bookshelf, move two backward, one left, one forward, and one to the right, and one backward. Now where is it? The hint is find it by yourself. You bitch. We'll move two back, one, two, left, 
back. It's just gotta be here, right? I mean, that's, 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 I'm not even gonna think about that, I'm just, I just know where to go. So let's see, let's see, she has three Pokemon, Schoolboy Joey, she sends out a Barboach. Water Ground type, level 15, I think we can handle it. I think Lady, oh my gosh, look at Lady, let me look at Shimmy. Uh, let's see, I do have Reflect and Light Screen, do I want to set any of them up? I might. No, no, no. Our special defense is pretty big, so let's go ahead and just mock punch it. Such damage. <laughs> okay, that only does four. Water gun, four. Yeah, we can live. We, we live. Look at Lady and put in all the chip damage work. <laughs> I'm hoping sooner or later Lady and like gets some like super overpowered uh, TM move that she can learn. And uh, Litwick, let's go ahead and go into Peggy. Let's get everyone a little bit of love today. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, I'm hoping uh, Shimmy, uh, we get a TM somewhere down the line where Shimmy actually uh, can learn it and then all of a sudden she just becomes super overpowered. That would be crazy. And we're confused, of course. And I, we, okay, so we get you. And unfortunately, I can't hit it with all, all, anything except pack. Come on. Break out. Break out. There we go. And it's a crit! And Litwick woke up. Okay, fire spin. We can live. We can live. Because I don't think this Litwick can really do anything to us. Let's go ahead and peck again. Flame bottle. Oh my gosh. I'd rather be poisoned, if I'm honest with you guys. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead for another peck. Even though we're burned, we should be able to... Fire spin. Oof. I cut that pretty close. <laughs> I cut that pretty darn close. I can't send in... I'm just gonna heal. I'm gonna use one of my potions that I have, because I have a lot of different uh, healing items right now, actually. Let's, let's just go ahead and use a super potion. Heal up, Peggy. Take a couple burns, fire spin damage, and then just go ahead and finish this off, because Peck should do the trick. I didn't want to risk it just in case, you know, Pe Peggy missed, or it was enough. See, it wasn't enough. Come on, let's not do this now. Let's not do this now. Peggy, let's not do this now. Oh, come on. I'm going into guacamole. Screw this. Go ahead and just knock it out. And it's gonna send out a Jigglypuff. Let's send back in Ledian. Uh, Shimmy. I keep calling it Ledian. I need to know its name. It's Shimmy. Shimmy. There we go. And look at her move and Shimmy. Thank goodness this isn't a uh, fairy type yet, so we can just go ahead and mock punch it all to hell. Come on, let's see it put. Let's see you putting decent damage. Three hit. Okay, three hit KO. Not bad. Why did that do so much? Pound. Okay, here we go. There we go. There we go. Everyone's putting in good work. You'll meet the gym leader soon. This is the last book. Now read the last book. Okay. Bi Biology of Tepig. It describes the biology of Tepig. Flame burns inside its body and, gi and it gives off flame from its nostrils. When it's not well, it can give off only smoke. There's a memo between the pages. You've managed to get here. Well done. You seem to have some wisdom as well as strength. I look forward to our battle. Gym Leader Lenora. Now, those were just notes. Just because I'm talking in my regular voice doesn't mean that that's Lenora's voice. Her husband had a crazy voice, so I feel like I gotta give Lenora a crazy voice. I'm gonna go heal really quick, of course. I ain't taking any chances. But I just don't know what voice I'm gonna do yet, so I have to think of, of one really quick. I don't wanna... I don't know. Big sassy black woman. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what I can do. I'm gonna run regularly so I can think of a voice because I need a voice. I don't do voices or female voices at least. Um. Um. <sighs> uh, 
Let's think about this. Okay, I'm gonna save right here. What voice can I do? I don't know what voice I can do for her. I'm gonna save again. What voice can I do for her, honestly? I just don't do female voices, that's the thing. I could just do the exact opposite and make her voice really low. Let's go ahead and do that. Welcome. The director of the Not Cream Museum and the Not Cream Gym leaders is me, Lenora. Well then, Challenger, I'm going to research how you battle with the Pokemon you so lovingly raised. Here we go! Our second gym badge against Kate. My name is Kate, bitch. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> it's a gentleman! I've chose the perfect voice! <laughs> Yo, my name is Gentleman Kate. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So we have a Crocker Rock, which actually is kind of scary on one end, but at the same time, I have Mock Punch, which is times four effective on it. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Ah, oh, it's a two shot and a oh, it's a crit. Uh oh, assurance. That could actually be bad. But we're bug type. Hmm. It's worrisome. Let's go ahead and mock punch again. Assurance. Come on, don't do that much. Don't do that much. I'm gonna mock punch again just because I have priority. That's the only reason why I'm going for it. Otherwise, I would heal up right now. Use a super potion. Okay. Then I'll super potion up next turn as well. Can I get another crit? Can we get another crit? We cannot. Um, you know what? I'm going to heal, and then I'm... See, Assurance is a physical type of move, so I'll set up a Reflect. Because that would because that would actually lower some of the damage, I feel. Why does that do so much? I thought Assurance only works better when you set up a, uh... When you attack it or something, right? Oh yeah, that does so much less. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up one more time. Oop, I got went to my Pokeballs. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and use another Super Potion. Come on. How much does Assurance do? Okay, it does 9 damage, which is a lot better than what it was. So let's go ahead and just Mach Punch it a couple times. I'm gonna speed through it just because it's a little bit of chip damage. Sand Attack! Okay! You try to make me miss now so you can get more hits off. There we go. One more should do it. Do we land it? And we do. So down goes the Crocker Rock. With with freaking Shimmy putting in the finest of work. I've grown to love this shit team. Honestly, I hope I get shit mons for the rest of this playthrough. So then that way, freaking... Oh, would you look at that? It's a knock towel. But as I was saying, I hope that we just continue getting shit mons so then that way I can appreciate them more. Um... It's level 20, I don't see any reason not to use Edison, especially because we do have that type advantage, and I have Peggy, who can't really do anything against its evolution. Two, I got Lady uh, Shimmy, who really can't take anything from a Noctowl. Uh, and three, same with Guacamole, just because it is grass type. And four, yeah, I'm gonna do that from now on. Uh, I can't use. But that music just, just got bumping, oh my gosh. Okay, Shockwave. Let's see if we can oak up this. I'm wondering if we can. We don't. It ate that up. Uproar? Why does that do so much damage? See, that did 30 damage. Does Uproar get stronger? Hold on. Who had Uproar? Peggy had Uproar. Duh. I'm gonna heal just to be safe to make sure that 
It does only do, uh... It does only do 30 damage each turn to make sure it's just not a roll. Because if, if that's a higher end roar, uh, roll, I'll, I'll be fine to take another one after this. It does 30 every time. I'm- oh. I'm- I am a risk taker right now, that's for sure. Uproar, do we live on two? Oh, I should have done that! We live on five, so it was a high roll. It was a high roll. Our Ornberry pops down. We do outspeed, I think. Yeah, we outspeed. So we should knock this thing out. And Shockwave doesn't miss. Down goes the knock towel. We'll see you soon with, in Peggy. But with that, you guys, we do have, in fact, our second gym badge. You're more than just talented. You're motivated. I salute you. <laughs> From Jail the Gate. I still can't believe that. I completely just went off on a whim. It's like, you know what? She's pretty. She's a pretty big gal. And you know what? That's like that's what I was thinking. She's a pretty big gal. Maybe she's just a tranny or something. <laughs> Your fighting style is so enchanting. It is charming. You are a Pokemon trainer worthy of receiving this basic badge. Cause you're nothing but a basic bitch. <laughs> it's like Samuel L. Jackson. If Samuel L. Jackson wasn't drag. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Just that uh, was so beautiful of how that turned out. Oh my god, I started I need to start drinking coffee more if this is my attitude. We received the basic badge from Lenora. If you have two badges, Pokemon up to, traded up to level 30 will obey you. Here, I also want you to have this TM. Stunt Sport. Ah, uh, damn it, what's with all these crappy TMs? It's supposed to be Retaliate. Gadir! Oh yeah, all this stuff. Gadir, come quickly! Team Plants most threatening to... Feel some bounds! I don't know why I always feel like I need to throw up when I do his voice. Wait, what? What the fuck is going on? TLTPG, you come too! Oh, she darted out of there. And the music gets all nice and stuff. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's see what's going on. Let's continue. Let's get some story on. Now you wait there! Enough fucking around! So you've come, Gym Leader. We, Team Plasma, claim this Dragon Skull in the name of Pokemon Liberation. To show you we're serious, we'll steal it right before your eyes. Well then, here's our smokescreen. You just said you'll do it right in front of our eyes, then you use a smokescreen. That makes no sense. Right? That makes no sense whatsoever. What's going on? <laughs> Oh, 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 we have to go after them. Hell yeah, we are. Let's go. I heard something. Oh, this is a third gym leader. Let's see. I already did that one voice for the for our first. Let's see. Make them French. Oh, good day, Lenora. Find any fossil, go, go fossil lately. This is a surprise visit. Are you suffering from artist block again? TLTPG. This is Berg. He may not look like it, but he's a Castel, but he's Castelia City's Pokemon gym leader. Eh? I'm just looking for a uh, change of pace. Seems hectic or something around here. What is up? What's up? Someone just walked away with an exhibit. That's what's up. Man, everyone's coming in here. Oh, hi, TLTPG. What's everybody doing here? Oh, and it's this guy. TLTPG, is there some kind of problem? And these two are your friends? Bianca and Cher. Oh, I see. They train us. Okay, then. Let's split up and search. I'll, lead, I'll head this way. Everyone, Sharon, Bianca, I want you to stay here at the museum. Berg and TLTPG, you two search the pinwheel forest. Got it. 
Burke, you show the way. I'm counting on you, everyone. Oh, huh. You are to our tip it, John. Are, are you? Are you willing to round up against our robber? <laughs> oh, hi, TLTPG. Take this with you. Fennel gave me this dowsing machine to give you. Hey, what a dowsing machine. Now, what did you tell me? Um, you can use a dowsing machine to find places where items are hidden, so you can find stuff you can't even see. For now, all we need to do is protect the museum, right? That's right. Go about your bitch-ass way. Cool. Hey, wait for me! I might extend this episode a little bit more so, so we can actually get this done. Or maybe I should just end it here. We are sitting at 25, almost 26 minutes. We have to go through all of Pinwheel Forest. No, no, we should be good. We'll finish at, like, what, 35 minutes? We, we should be done. Yeah, let's go ahead and just get this over with so that we can continue, move into more story, and just have some fun. Now, the reason why you guys do see six Pokemon being healed is because I still do have our cut HM Slave Sandshrew with us, so it's just around, honestly. Let's go ahead and, uh, see, let's actually use this dowsing machine while we're walking. How does this work in Gen 5 again? They always change it. Okay, yeah, that's right. That thing on the bottom. It's already picking something up, is it? An Eviolite? Hello? Ah! I love this. Because that's all the... I, I, ah. Yo, put it on Guacamole or Peggy until they evolve. I might just do that for Peggy, just so she can live a couple decent hits. Yo! Hello, Evio Light! That's awesome! I'm keeping this thing out all the time. If we... Let's see. I just... I just... Damn it! There we go. Let's... Let's go ahead... Oh, this way leaves the female for her. If they manage to sculpt to all into the full run, we might have trouble. Why he sounds- I am terrible with accents. Dun 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 Well you see, there are two ways out of pinwheel for him. The road that goes straight and the path that winds with the womb. I'll take the straight road after them. If they're not there, I'll block the egg zone. Would you please take the other and check- Oh, oh I'm not even reading right now. You'll run into a lot of trainers, but it's basically a single path. I'm sure you won't get along. Okay, uh, so it looks like we have a double battle coming up, because I usually recognize those girls. Um, let's go ahead and put Edison and Peggy out front. Just so Peggy can get, hopefully, ev uh, evolve soon. And also just to see how much she can eat up from a freaking with an evil light on her. Let's go ahead and just, actually, just kind of speed through this as well, just so we can... No, don't waste too much time. Gibble and Chikorita! That kind of scares me, because Dragon Rage is a thing. Both of them do have over 45. What's it called? Uh, I can put that to sleep, actually. Yeah, come on. We do land the Hypnosis. Alright, so no Dragon Rage for Gibble. And it knows synthesis. Of course it does. So let's focus. I'm gonna focus all my uh, attack now on this Gibble. Just so we can get it out of the way before it wakes up. Oh, don't growl me. Come on. Razor Leaf, come on now. Woke up, Sandstorm. Are we gonna be under 45 or 40? No, we're good. We're good. We can. I'm gonna peck Chikorita. I'm gonna quick attack the Gibble, because that should knock it out. There we go. There, down goes the Gibble. Edison actually, I mean, Edison, not, Peggy ate up that freaking hit pretty well. Of course, more growls just means more bullshit. Dare freaking synthesis and live on one. Don't be that guy. Don't be that chikorita. There we go. 
Okay, come on. Oh, Edison's already at level 20, hello? Okay, let's go ahead and face you. Go ahead and just get through some battles, get some good grinding going. A cup chew! Oh, it's a little cup chew! I know a freaking certain, uh... You are flying type. Could be troublesome. But I'm gonna risk it. Let's go into, let's go into Shimmy and see what is going on with that mock punch. Icy wind. Let's just see how much this does. Just decent amount of damage. Speed fell, but that doesn't matter because we have mock punch. Should I set up a light screen? Might just do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, there we go. That's beautiful. Let's go ahead and mock punch away now. And we get powder snow. Whew, okay. That crit mock punch. Another crit! Was that another crit? I think it was. What? Okay, um. Yeah, let's go ahead and he heal. I ain't taking any chances, and I need everyone ready to go whenever. Barboach? You know what can take care of you. Land a Hypnosis turn one. All right. Come on, let's uh, just tackle, actually. Let's see. Does tackle do a lot? It does. Hello? Come on. Get, let's get Piggy that EXP. Let's get her to a Knock Towel. Uh, no, no, no. I'm looking at my... Oh, there's so many items I want to pick up. Burn heal. That's good. That could come in helpful. Okay, I just walked right over it. There were yawn mask in here. We should. I don't know. I'm happy. I'm happy with our encounters, actually. A sky plate. Cool. There were pig knights in here. What the hell? I want to go get that other item. Goldine, get away. Let's see where we're at. We are at 32 minutes. Oh, come. I'll go back. Oh, I couldn't get away? What? Excuse me. Thank you. Come on, kid. Let's go. Yeah, I'll come back through here. Um, after going through all of this, um, with this episode, I'm just gonna go through everything and, uh, Jesus, I did a lot. I'm just gonna go ahead off screen and pick up all the items and just get through it and end up on the other side at the beginning of the next episode after we finish all this, of course. Bonds lie. I'll keep you in and then I'll switch you out into uh, guacamole. Uh, just so we can get you to level 19. Low kick. Absorb. See, Rock Throw, yep, that's what I was afraid of. Awesome. Let's go ahead and use another. Oh, no, not a full restore. Am I already out of super potions? No, I'm not. Do have a fresh water, which does the same amount. Let's just go ahead and heal up Peggy. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and keep going. We're at 34 minutes. We're almost at the end. Another item. A white herb. I don't remember what that does. Oh, stupid! That's right, they hide in the frickin' bushes. A Vulpix! Okay, we can handle a Vulpix, I feel. Let's put it to sleep. Don't confuse me! Come on! Breakthrough, Peggy! Oh, Peggy, come on. Peggy, come on! Oh, come on, Peggy! Fuck, I hate fire spin. Come on! There we go. Jesus. I have to heal. I ain't taking chances. Come on, come on, come on. 
once we get to the main battle with the uh, plasma guys, I'll I'll go regular speed and we'll end, and we'll go ahead and do that. But um, I just I just feel like we should speed through this because it'll take me a whole another episode to get through it, and we'll just get right through it. There's no reason not to, you know. I feel like there's another kid down there. I swear to God, if there is. Come on. Damn it! Knew it! Knew it! Come on! Teddy Ursa! Oh, I don't want to kill it. I love Teddy Ursa. Fake tears. Does that lower my spash? Yeah. Oh, come on! Mock punch. Come on. I hate these trainers. Why are they so freaking high leveled? Come on, come on. Let me heal up. Let me heal up. Let's get through this episode. Come on, I don't have that much left. Come on. Oh, there are Karakostas in here. That actually is scary. So I guacamole just so in case we don't get out here. Attacked, okay. Got away. Ether. Okay, come on. Another galactic grunt. Or plasma grunt. Come on, come on, come on. Pop it. We can easily hit. That's right. Thank you. Bob and Weave. Bob and Weave with that sleep powder. Zoom lens. What does that do? Does that increase accuracy? The accuracy will be boosted. Let's go. I think this is the main spot. I think this is the main person. Our sewer! Ahaha! A kid like you beat some of us. That can't be helped, but now I'll take you on now. I think this is the last guy. Yeah. I think this is the last. Cherubi! Okay, we can handle you. We can easily handle you. We are sitting at 38 minutes. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's a bit longer of an episode than I wanted, but you know what? It's content. We get through two major events in one episode. I'm fine with that. <coughs> I'm fine with that. And we just get to see Peggy put in some good work. I just spit everywhere. Come on, Peggy. Let's get you evolved. I think you evolved at level 20, right? You're supposed to? A swinib. Um, I'll switch. I'll switch in because we know, we definitely know that Ledian can take a. I'm sorry, not Ledian. Shimmy can take a uh, a powder snow or an icy wind. We know that for sure. See, powder snow. We're gonna eat this up. You're gonna eat this up. Yep, and we're just gonna mock punch it, and we're gonna oko it, right? No, we're not. Come on. Powder Snow, we're good, we're good, we're good. Hold on my beard. One more Mach Punch, come on. Now let it be something that Peggy can come in on and take out. Come on. A Q-Bone. Shite. Everyone's about ready to level up to level 20. Okay, I got, I got an idea. Come on, we can land one. Come on, we can land it. There we go. 
switch back into Ledian. Okay, just to get through that, all that side stuff, and then for the main battle, I won't speed up. That does nothing! Then let's go into Guacamole and just absorb it. Do you wake up? You do! Great. Doesn't do that much damage. Okay. I should have faked out just in case. Got for that extra damage, but it doesn't really matter. But at the same time, you know, it just does. Bone Club does nothing! Alright, Mr. Q-Bone. Get out of here. Go crowd home to your mom. Lydian grew to level 20. And Peggy didn't grow, damn it! Let's see. You're the one that. Fine, take your stupid skull! Do, 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 that dragon net, the witch we got, Yahoo! So the dream our king had, the dream we had, won't come true. <sighs> How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Gorm of the Seven Sages! I'm, mo I'm mortified that the skull which we went to so much trouble to obtain was stolen from us so easily. It's not important. We can afford to abandon the dragon skull. According to the results of our research, this is not the legendary Pokemon for which Team Plasma is looking. It is completely unrelated. But we will not allow anyone to disrupt our plans and get away with it. We will fix it so you will never interfere with us again. Oh, no, oh, that's the wrong gym leader. Oh, sweet. The bug Pokemon won't get all worked up, so I call and what do I spy with my little eye? This important looking gun. Are you here to help your friends who are at the feet? TLTPG, but the, other, the others didn't have anything. And who are you supposed to be? Is this guy the big boss? I am one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Get the son of the other seven sages will liberate Pokemon with words alone. The remainder of the seven sages have one of the compatriots to take Pokemon with for it. But well, the odds are a little against us now to you, the bug Pokemon user Bergen. The normal Pokemon user Lenore, I say know your enemies, know yourself. And you need not to fear the result of a hundred battles. This time we shall retreat quietly. <coughs> Just a kill the Wolverines did a Pokemon, we will steal Pokemon from trainers. <sighs> Even though you are gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further obstruction from you. <sighs> In case we will settle this someday, I hope you're all looking forward to that time as much as that. God, he talked a whole lot. We're almost 45 minutes into this episode. A speedy bunch. What are you planning to do, Berg? Are you going to chase after him? Hmm. We got the stolen skull, and if we corner them, there's no telling what they might do. I think I'll be heading back, Lenora. Well, now, well, I'll be waiting for your challenge at Castilla City Pokemon Gym. Yes, indeed. I'm certainly looking forward to it. Because I am an artist. TLTPG. You're holding the Dragon Skull you worked so hard to get back, right? Thank you very much. With a kind trainer like you taking care of them, the Pokemon with you must be happy. Here's a token of my gratitude. Please use it carefully. A Moonstone. Cool. So if we ever get, like, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, uh, any of the Nidos, that'd be cool. This here's a Moonstone. Some Pokemon evolved when you use it on. Now I must take the Dragon Skull back to the museum. See you. Take care of yourself. Man, my balls itch. <laughs> I freaking love that. Just this whole episode. Let me get out here, pick up this item, a Rossberry. Eh. Okay, so we are on the main path. Let us go ahead and freaking save today's episode right here. If you guys like this episode, please leave a like and comment down below. 
how, how you think, what your thoughts are on this series. Am I good with the voices? Should I have done something else? I already know I'm already getting crap about Juniper's voice. But yeah, in this episode, it was crazy long. I'm so sorry. We are at 45 minutes now. I'm not going to take up much more time except saying thank you guys so much for watching this series. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Hopefully in the next episode, we get through a lot of uh, Castelia City. Maybe pick up a, uh, an encounter I think we can get from in there. Or maybe uh, like an egg or something. I don't know, but we'll figure it out once we get there. I will see you guys next Monday. My name is Sunbrother2, and I'll see you in the next episode.